Hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with Sing It Loud. Hello. Yo. Hello. Hi. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Yes. Um, my name is Pat Brown, and I sing and play guitar. My name is Chris Lee, and I play the drums for Sing It Loud. My name is Nathan Thomas Flynn, and I play the bass. My name is Ben Peterson, and I'm the in-house chef. <laughs> my name is Kieran Smith, and I play lead guitar, and Ben actually plays the keyboards. All right, can you tell us something about your latest album, Come Around? Um, well, it came out in September. It has 11 tracks on it. It was produced by a guy named Josh Kane uh, that plays in a band called Motion City Soundtrack. And uh, it was mixed by Mark Trombino. And it features, uh, on a couple of the songs, um, Justin from Motion City Soundtrack and Alex from All Time Low sing on it. So we have a couple of guest vocalists on the album as well. Yeah, the, you guys have a pretty neat story about how you got signed on to Epitaph, right? Yeah, um, we actually we came together as a band um, in summer of 2006, and we got the opportunity to open um, for 2007. I did that earlier today. I said the wrong year. That's when I graduated. <laughs> so we, we opened for Motion City Soundtrack. Uh, we got a really cool opportunity to do so in August, um, and it was our third show ever. And um, Josh from Motion City uh, watched us perform. He's like, hey, I really like your band. I really want to help you guys out. So he started working with us, like helping us like write songs and stuff like that. And uh, he showed us to the Brett, the label owner of Epitaph, and he flew out and saw us and signed us. So tell me a little bit about um, the Minneapolis music scene and how you guys all met and came together. Um, well, basically, me and Pat used to play in two bands from the area. And we actually hated each other for a really long time because we were like rivals, you know? And uh, then we found out that we were like step cousins, like twice removed. Pretty much. it was like it's like a really weird way, but our families connect. And um, so we decided to make do and be friends, pretty much. And um, so we always kind of talked like if our bands ever broke up, we should start like a band together and try to do it, you know, as a team. And um, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, I found Nate on MySpace and uh, Ben on Craigslist, and. Um, Sick Boy, a.k.a. Chris, uh, played drums in my old band, so he kind of was defaulted into the picture, and uh, we just, that's how it happened. Pretty fast, so. Oh, cool, a lot has happened the past year for you guys. That's awesome. So this is your second time here at the Rave. Have you guys done anything exploring around the building? We did um, last time. Oh, I didn't go to the pool, but they did. Um, I walked around. I actually took a shower in the <laughs> in the showers downstairs, even though there was no hot water. It was freezing cold, so I would like run across the room, like into the shower, and then run back and like make my whole body soapy and put soap in my hair, and then I'd run and I'd wash it off. And it was like the worst Tim shower the I've ever taken. <clears throat> so, but yeah, we got to see it, see the place a little bit. And it was really cool. So, I, th this is actually one of my favorite shows of the Cobra Starship tour. Was uh, down in the in the middle room here. So. I'm really excited to be back here. Absolutely. So with tonight being the first day of this tour, tell me one thing that you must have with you besides your instruments. Um, my iPhone is, in, is my total like necessity, or my office DVDs. Suitcase. High School Musical 1 and 2 on DVD. Can't wait for the third one to come out, February 17th. Nice. I always have to have my MacBook. Bail money. All right, so um, what are some bands that have really influenced you guys? Not just like your sound, but individually. Um, individually, I would have to say um, probably for me would be like Taking Back Sunday, um, Blink-182, Newfound Glory, which are like the bands that got me wanting to like play in a band uh, like for a living and like do the whole like traveling thing. Um, I'd have to say Taking Back Sunday, Blink-182, and like um, John Mayer, Death Cab for Cutie sort of stuff. Um, when I was in elementary school, NSYNC and Boys to Men really got me into music, and then I started listening to bands like New Found Glory and The Starting Line, and that helped me pursue my career in this field. Um, the band that kind of got me into this was Dashboard Confessional, and I'd cry about them well, because I didn't have a girlfriend, so I'd listen to Dashboard Confessional, and they got me through my my troubled my troubled freshman youth. And then I broke into like Motion City Soundtrack and um, Starting line early November now like John Mayer's huge for me Isley John Legend yeah um I was a big Metallica Def Leppard Kiss Guns N' Roses fan all right so what's next first thing about um well we do this tour um and then directly after this tour we're playing South by Southwest 
um, in Texas, and we're doing the Alternative Press magazine. We're doing like their show, so that'll be really fun. That's really exciting for us. And then uh, we're on MTVU's uh, segment of the Freshman Five, so our videos are going to be featured on MTVU um, like all throughout the spring, a bunch. So that's really exciting. And then also we're going on our first headlining full U.S. tour, and then we're doing the Vans Warp tour uh, in the summer. We're also doing like both Bamboozle festivals. I guess there's so, a lot coming up. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, we're very excited. Oh, cool. So, all right. Well, thank you very much, guys, for spending some time and hanging out with us. Thanks thank for having spending time. Thank, thank you very much. Everybody, make sure to catch their latest album, Come Around. Thanks again to Sing It Loud, and we'll catch you next time on The Rave TV. Uh,